During this week, I was really focused on the coverings of God and I wanted to take a time of meditation with you to just step with you underneath all those different coverings of God. The Lord wants to restore in your life His righteousness, His peace, His joy, the way, truth and life. He want to set you as a son that functions in the judgment, justice and the holiness of the Father. And so I want to take you through this journey of meditation, to step into Him and to meditate on Him and allow Him to speak to us. I want to read you the scripture in Psalm chapter 1. Blessed is the man that starts and then it continues, whose delight is in the law of the Lord and in His law he meditates day and night. So that law is the instructions of God, is His desires that He is writing on our hearts. It's the picture of hope that He gives to us. And we meditate on that instructions of God. Remember, He's giving us a new heart, taking out a heart of stone, putting a new heart. He's writing His laws on our heart. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever He does shall prosper. And so the Lord wants to prosper you, and so we need to meditate on the word and the law of God day and night. And it's amazing, it says day and night. Because in a day we're going to see visions, we're going to receive instructions and leading of the Holy Spirit. He's going to open up our eyes to the realm of the Spirit. And in a night time, He's going to take us into heaven, give us open visions, experiences, encounters, dreams from God. And so uh, it's amazing that we can be one with Him day and night. So... Justin Paul Abraham defines meditation in an amazing way. I just want to play you a quick clip of how Justin defines meditation. Now, I know we're all busy. We've all got crazy lives, but we have to learn to practice meditation as a lifestyle. And that is simply this. What is meditation? Meditation is coming into, are you ready? Here we go. Awareness of your oneness. Meditation is coming into awareness of your oneness with the Trinity and that their world is your world. That as you rest in them, they rest in you. That their life is your life. Their strength is your strength. So it's the practice in Hebraic is called kavah. That's a beautiful word. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. And the word there is kavah. It's not wait. It's not waiting, looking at your clock, waiting. No, it's something far more exciting than that. It's the word entangle or entwine. Those who entangle in the Lord we will renew their strength, their body. They'll rise up on wings. So entangling into God opens up all of the stuff in the Beyond Human book. Now, as we enter into this time of meditation, what I want you to do so I want you to close your eyes and set your affection on him. And I want you to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And just receive that anointing and that touch of God, the breath of God, the hay, the fullness, the supply of God into you. And even as you get entangled with him, he is renewing your strength. So I'm going to do a prayer. And even as I do this prayer, I want you to focus on the Lord. Allow Him to speak to you. If there's something in a prayer that uh, resonates with your spirit, just say those words softly out of your mouth. Just to come into agreement uh, with what God is doing. Maybe we can just start with saying Yeshua. Yeshua. Jesus, you are Yeshua. You are my Savior, my Lord, my King. And Lord, I step into you. Lord, thank you that you are seated on your throne in my heart. And so I just proclaim that you are Yeshua. You are Messiah in my life. And so, Father, I step into the realm of heaven where you are. Lord, I worship you and I stand in awe of your holiness. 
I step into the Holy Spirit and receive the coverings of righteousness, peace, and joy over my life. So Holy Spirit, thank you for that covering of righteousness that comes over my spirit. Lord, you remind me that I'm a child of God. And so Lord, I step into that position of righteousness and I receive the covering of the righteousness of God. And so even where you are, see how the Lord is taking off filthy rags from you and how he puts on white pure linen as he puts you into his righteousness. Completely washed clean by the blood of Jesus. All accusations removed from your life. And so Lord, thank you for your peace that you set around me like a fortress. Lord, thank you for your oil of joy that you're pouring over my life that I can be under your covering of righteousness, peace, and joy. Let's experience that weight. It's even like a lightness, but it's a weight of that covering of the Holy Spirit of righteousness, peace, and joy that He puts over you. And so, Lord, I step into Jesus and receive the coverings of way, truth, and life from Jesus. Lord, thank you for access into the realms of the heavens. And Lord, I step right now, even as I are, as, as I am in Christ, Lord, I step into the realm of heaven where you are. Lord, thank you that you start to open up my spiritual eyes and um, release a, a image of what's happening in heaven on my imagination screen. Lord, I see the row of God. I see the glory of the Father. I see uh, the children uh, playing and experiencing the joy of God, the, 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 the Garden of Eden, um, and the throne of God, the city of, of Jerusalem, uh, the schools, Lord, all those angels, Lord, thank you for the realm of heaven and that I can be functional in the realm of heaven. And through the coverings of Jesus of way, Lord, you make a way for me to the Father and a way into the realm of heaven. And so, Lord, I receive the truth of God into my life. Lord, I align and I set myself to be in agreement with what you have written and spoken over my life. Lord, every thought in my mind, I subject to the truth of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you that I'm going to walk according to truth and the truth will set me free. Lord, thank you that uh, Jesus gives uh, life and life abundantly, Lord, and I, and I connect now to the river of life. And Lord, thank you, even as I connect to that row of life, that the life of God is starting to flow out of my innermost being, out of this throne that's in me. And so, Lord, as my spirit sits on the throne, on my heart, Lord, out of my innermost being flow a river of living water. Lord, I open up the gate of first love and I activate the, the flow of provision from the fullness that is in heaven into my spirit, man. And I set my spirit to, res to surrender myself to the Lordship of Jesus. I set my soul and my body to serve my spirit. I make a decision of my will to allow the full supply of heaven to flow through my innermost being into this natural realm and to change everything around me. Lord, I lay down my own plans and dreams and connect my life and purpose to the blueprint that God has for my life. I acknowledge the kingdom of God that is inside of me and I open the gate of my spirit to release the flow of the kingdom of God into the atmosphere around my life. Your kingdom come through my life. I lay down my, my will and set my desire on you. Your will shall be done through my life on earth and especially around my life. It shall be as in heaven. So I connect myself to the life creativity and supply that's in Jesus. Lord, thank you that you give us this day our daily bread. And so let's receive Jesus said, I'm the bread. And so Jesus, we receive you. We receive your word, but we also receive your provision. Lord, I, 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 I draw on the provision that's in the name of Jesus. I draw on a provision that's in the names of God. Lord, thank you that you are almighty. Lord, I forgive the ones that wronged me and I release them to be blessed and fulfill God's purpose for their life. I confess my sins before the throne of God and receive the forgiveness that Jesus has paid for. Lord, thank you that you supply to me everything that I need. 
to overcome every temptation. I choose to turn to light. So just turn, I turn myself towards light, towards that to the right. And I turn myself to the kingdom of God, to your voice, to you, Lord. And I turn myself away from darkness. And Lord, I make a decision to obey the Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask that you do not lead me into temptation, but that you deliver me from the evil one. And so, Lord, thank you that you set me on a mountain, on a seat of authority with the responsibility to destroy the works of the, the evil one. And so, Lord, I present myself on your holy mountain to hear your voice, which comes from heaven. And so, Lord Jesus, thank you that I can be with you and that I can receive your glory on the mountain, that I can see, be seated in you um, in the rest of God. And Lord, thank you for your government that flows through my spirit, man, into this earth. And so, Lord, speak to me. I decide beforehand that I will obey your word and I'm listening. Lord, and thank you that I can incline my ear to you, to hear your voice. And Lord, thank you that you say, come up here and you open up my eyes to see in the realm of the Spirit. Lord, I breathe in and I just declare Yahweh. Yahweh, Yeshua. You are Lord, you are Almighty, you are my Creator. You give me purpose and identity, Lord, and you give me love for grace, and Lord, I connect myself to the purpose that's in you. Lord, thank you that you are faithful. And so the Lord just want to restore our joy, and so just even where you are, we start to receive that oil of joy. So Lord, I draw on the supply of the oil of joy that's in heaven into my life. Lord, thank you that I can re receive strength. Lord, that you renew my strength even as I cover, so I entangle myself with you, Lord. Receive the, the joy of the Holy Spirit, that oil. Yeah, Lord, thank you. Amen. Yeah, just for a moment, just step out. So, Lord, thank you that I can step out of out of out of that uh the realm where you are lord and i can just come into this earth and just release the fullness that's in heaven into this earth lord thank you that you've set me you've made me to be a gate to release your fullness on this earth amen well i hope you enjoyed this meditation with me before you go I want you to check out my latest video that I just uploaded. It's another session that I did with Claire, uh, with Nancy Cohen. We, we're just going through some of her testimonies and just gleaning from the amazing work that God is doing in that woman's life. It's, we really honor and respect uh, Nancy Cohen and for the pioneer and also the mother uh, that she is to us in the spirit. And so you definitely do not want to miss that. See you there. And God bless you.